Well, from to another lesson on Ionic 4, we are going to take a look at the modal component and controller. The modal that wants us to present to the user some uh, options or uh, some filtering of items. Yeah, it comes on top of uh, the main content, the app it's, uh, content. And we can dismiss it. So it uh, goes away. We can pass data from the modal to the uh, main content or from the main content to the modal. Uh, to we can do that. So how do we do that in Ionic 4? Well, it's very easy. First of all, let's implement our Ionic button which is going to trigger the um, function that will present the modal for us when we tap or click. So the function is going to be called the present modal function. Let's implement that in our home page uh, class. So we're going to add the constructor and uh, inside the constructor we're going to we're going to inject our modal uh, controller which we will use to present the model so model controller and we're going to give the type of model controller from ionic uh, angular all right let's define our present model function it's going to be uh, an async uh, function and uh, so let's create a uh, constant and uh, has the Create the model and pass it to it. It's going to be modal controller that create is going to be an await. Yeah. So let that modal controller that creates here we will pass in uh, the some options like uh, the component to display, data to pass, and all that. So first of all, what we will do is we're going to just pass the component. So we don't have it yet. So let's create it. Let's create a page and uh, use that one. So I like G page. We're going to call it model page. All right. There we have it. So now let's uh, reference it. Let's pass it to the component option here. Yeah. Model page. It's going to be modal page page because we add a uh, page to our name here the reference will be here with a page page which uh, is not something we want so whenever you create a page don't add a page just say more than uh, the name and then it will automatically add a page to it for you so modal page page yeah, that's what we got so let's uh, use that to realize it. So let's see the other options. We have the enable backlog this and then we are out this. We will not still with any of them right now. Uh, the only one we need is the component. Uh, so let's go ahead and I wait here to uh, present the uh, model. So model dot present. And let's test it out. Uh, right. So, for example, it's not working. Yes, uh, the reason why it's not working is because we have not included the component in our um, home page uh, module. We have to add it. We have to add it. We have to add it to the declaration uh, yeah, model control. So model page page and also the entry components to we have to add it as well so let's add it model page no no not home page right model page page and yes now we've added it to the home module and it should work all right yeah it's working. It's working. Yeah. 
So now, how do we dismiss uh, the mother when we come to be there? When we, when we become from the main apps control to the mother, how do we dismiss it? So let's go ahead and define the dismiss function. We are going to use the same modal controller here as well. So we have to inject it into our constructor. So let's define again public modal controller and then give it type of modal controller. And we are going to use it inside our dismiss function here. So this dot modal controller dot dismiss and that's it that's how easy it is to dismiss a model so we go back to the uh, model page uh, HTML and then we are going to define the iron button here dismiss and we will uh, find a click event here and pass the function dismiss so when we tap and click the dismiss uh, function will be triggered Let's test it out and see if it works. So tap and dismiss and tap and dismiss and we have it. Let's, let's check it out with the other one. Sorry. Good boy. Now, how do we patch data from our component? So our main app, app uh, content to the uh, modem. We use a component properties patch data from the apps content to the folder. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to add it as part of the options here, component parts. And the value, what we are passing is called the value. And then the one, two, three. So inside our model page, we're going to inject the now params which we will use to get the uh, stuff that we passed, the value that we passed from the apps content to the side. Let's uh, inject it and that's it. Now, before that, let's create a value property here, which we will reference in the template, the HTML in display. So, what we do is we will pass the value that we get from the nav params to the value. Yeah. So this dot var like that, and then we pass the nav params of get value to this dot var. All right. Uh, there we go. And let's go into our templates and. Uh, there. All right, VAR, VAR, and we should see it working. And that's it. Thanks for watching this part one. Come back for part two. If you have any question, ask in the comment section below. And if uh, you want more Ionic or other videos, uh, subscribe to the channel, and you will be receiving updates every month.